All right, so now we'll move on to the moment diagram. And remember, the moment diagram takes information from the shear diagram and also we have to make sure that we look at the loading because if there's a moment that was left up there we got to bring that down that's actually probably the only trick that you need to think about okay all right so we know that information from the shear diagram gets passed to the moment diagram. So we got to figure out what happens between that. And so the first approach was to take the area of the shear diagram. So that's really simple. Why? Because what is the area of a triangle? One half base times height. Okay. The height, 133.75 and um, the base is what we calculated. It was like 3.34. I, I don't know. It, it's in there. Don't worry. Um, and then it's just half, right? You, you know the area triangle and that we know it's positive because it's above. We next know that this area is negative, right? What is the height? Well, the height is 186.25, right? Because it's the height here. And what is the base? Well, the base is 4.66, right? Eight millimeter minus or eight meters minus three point three three is equal to four point six six. All right. So right here is one half base times height. And finally we have a rectangle. And the formula for that, base times height. What is our base? Whatever that dimension is, and what is the height? Twenty kilonewtons, right? So how do we do that? Well, there we go. I label as A1, A2, A3, and I sh to have it more accurately and correct, I should have said that this is positive, this is negative, this is positive, and how does that correlate? Well, we got 223, right? We know that from that table, if it's a linear value, what it transforms is into is a parabolic shape. Sorry, not linear value, but linear line. It translates to, or slope line, it translates to parabolic. So, and we know that it's positive 2223 or 223.27. So you'll go up and travel up. Next, we know that it's negative, right? And so it keeps that parabolic shape all the way down, okay? And we know that, let's see, it's gonna be 60 kilonewtons, right? So from this point to that point is upwards 60 kilonewtons. Right, and it's a linear slope, not a parabolic, right? Because it's a it's a linear right here, right? And so then we're kind of left at this point. We're like, okay, well, how do we close? Do we make a mistake? And so this is the only trick is that we got to go back up. And you know how I kind of trace this kind of yellow line, maybe hard to see, and that corresponds to the diagram right here. And we've got 150 kilonewtons meter. We can't forget about everybody, right? Leave no moment behind. So we know that right here is 150. And we know that it was going uh, clockwise. Think as clockwise being positive, counterclockwise negative. So positive means you go up, OK? And so the other question is, OK? How is this parabolic, why is it the parabolic this way? Why is it this way, right? And how do we know if it's shaped that? Well, check it out. We go back to our loading, right? If it's going down, right, it's always gonna be this shape. And the easiest way to remember is that, imagine this is money and your money's going down and so you have a sad face. That's the way I tell everybody remember that's the best way and check it out. Your money's going down and you have a big sad face, okay? Okay. 
All right, so that ends it. Have a good one, guys.